Okay, what is up guys? So, today I'm going to be doing a video on a complete kit layout, uh, which they would be required to do, um, the paratroopers would be required to do before boarding the planes. Uh, so this is an anniversary of D-Day minus one uh, video. Now I apologise, I am doing it outside, but it's really light in areas and really dark. But where it's really dark, there's nothing there and I'll explain that all in a minute. So, the kit layout was uh, something they had to do before they could board the plane. Now, most of the time, it's just simple things that they laid out. So they'd lay out their webbing, their um, their rifle, their parachute, gas mask bag, and sort of that thing. But for the sake of the video, I've uh, done a lot more. Um, so yeah, pretty much, I'll just go from left to right going through. So at the top, you may be able to see that there's some uh, there's some space uh, there, and missing there would be your parachute, reserve chute, and May West. Now there is a few little things missing here and there, but I'm now, that's sort of the next step, getting all the jump gear and getting this impression completely complete. Now you're probably wondering where's my uniform and things, you'd be wearing your uniform, it's strictly kit. So, um, uh, yes, yeah, so we'll start off over here and then move on to the other side. Okay, so now you've got a quick overview of it, I'll quickly go from left to right showing you what's here. So first we got the M7 Assault Gas Mask Bag and the uh, Gas Cape Protective Cover. Uh, I don't have the gas mask, that's something I am missing and something that we'll get in the future. Here's the, my BC-1000 in its jump cradle. This is a rigger made jump cradle that I handmade and homemade myself on um, Friday. Uh, you've probably seen that if you're friends with me on Facebook. Next to that you have the um, radio equipment. So we've got the aerial, the handset, the pusher talk uh, unit and the lip microphone. There would be others but I am still getting them. Uh, so coming down then. Uh, just before we get onto the webbing, the M3 fighting knife in the M6 scabbard, Hawkins mine gun grenade, pineapple grenade. You would have more pineapple grenades, I just haven't got around to getting them. Uh, a bandolier, I need to get another one of those. Now we move on to the webbing, so it consists of a um, M1936 pistol belt. You've got a Walker 1, M1910, M1911 ammunition pouch, the earlier style M1 carbine magazine pouch, M1941 reinforced. Uh, canteen set with a 45 cup and 1918 a steel top canteen uh, small rigger pouch British made 44 or 45 dated Carlisle pouch with red tin and wound tablets the CS34 linesman pouch with TL13 pliers and I think they are TL34 or TL35 pen knife don't put me on that um, original M1911 uh, holster with a, a Danix M1911 there, that's something new that I got at Template War. GP bag, uh, that's 43 dated. Musette bag original plus GP strap, there's a GP strap on the GP bag but it's just tucked underneath. Uh, HP cap, spoon, M19, uh, no, leather, horse eye gloves, parachute first aid packet, I forgot to mention that there's original suspenders and the felt pads on there. I will do a review of this webbing soon. Uh, the felt pads I've put on there for the jump and then I'll take them off uh, after the jump because I don't like having them on there. Uh, wash roll then, so we've got the wash roll, Craig Martin toothpaste, toothbrush, soap, towel, I still need to get the shaving kit. Uh, helmet with scrim, net, cricket on the side and uh, dust goggles. Uh, Carrying around again then, we've got boot cleaning kit in that uh, white tanny bag there. Signal core garrison cap with the early war cap badge. A DT bag with a P37 can opener, DI badge, uh, an extra bar of soap, scissors, playing cards, and sewing kit. Uh, one set of K rations, this is all I would have personally taken and then used. Uh, take them. I'm going to get some more D rations, uh, but I'm going to then uh, see what's in France and what I can get. So I got a breakfast, dinner, and supper. Wash bowl, spare socks. Two uh, cooking fuels, D ration, airborne tactics manual, language guide to French, French invasion money, and an ID card. So you're probably thinking, well, I have the cooking uh, things, but not a mess tin. Personally, I wouldn't take a mess tin, I'd use the canteen cup. Uh, then we have the leg scabbard with a M1A1 carbine. I am going to get a grizzle bag because they're more common. So I said, missing up the top, there'd be the main shoot, reserve shoot. May West and also there's going to be some other things uh, but obviously because it's D-Day minus one and it's the anniversary 
Uh, so there'll be another video tomorrow of me in the gear, immediate post jump, and I'll do that as a medic. Um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. This has been Jack, and I'll see you guys later.